Today I was on my way to Hamburg Antique Center in Hamburg, Pennsylvania, and whenever I travel somewhere, I like to look at my GPS and see how many Goodwills are along the way, and I discovered that there is a Goodwill along the way. This is in Paxtonia, and I have never been to this one. It's not very far from me, but I just, I was oblivious. So we're here today at a Goodwill I have never been to before, and we're going to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Land Lady and welcome to my channel. Oh my gosh, there is so much stuff. <laughs> this is crazy, I had no idea this was even here. got some age to it, but it's got a giant crack, unfortunately. What do we have in the bin? That's reverse painted. Purse kind of looks like, um, I can't remember her name. It's the top of my head. It kind of looks Italian, but it's a Hallmark piece. And the wing is broken off. I have found the brown section, <laughs> so I figured we needed to check here. I love this teapot, but the lid is missing. Little candle votives. Those plates have a nice uh, blue border on them. They're made in the USA. Not familiar with that though. Mm. Wait, I thought maybe they were the Pyrex plates with the blue border, but they're not. They're China. Well, what do we have here? <laughs> oh, it's a bank. Looks like she was glued back together though. That's kind of pretty. Riley P. Corner, August 26th. Is that 72 or 2012? I'm thinking 2012. I found this mug. It has a skyline on there. I'm not sure which skyline that is though. I think somebody made this. I think it's an art pottery piece. It's marked RJ. It's $1.99. Um, the skyline is probably a transfer of some sort. I like the way they used the yellow for the sky. So it's only $1.99. Here's a little dish. Looks like it's got some age to it. It's $1.99. You know, I look at this and I think I probably get 8 to 12 for that. Looks like it's got some age. Those are some pretty art pottery dishes. One is marked $1.99. I'm assuming that's for both because only one has a price on it. Hmm. I think we'll take those for $1.99. Look at us and the art pottery today. This is a silver overlay, but it's in pretty sad shape. There's a pretty unicorn, but unfortunately the horn is missing, so I don't know. Maybe that makes it just a horse. <laughs> There's a few purses down here. This is Union. Bay, kind of a patriotic purse, and this one, what is this? Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. I like the shape of it, but I'm not sure. Okay, well, I'm not seeing a whole lot here, unfortunately. The shelves look to be pretty well picked over, so um, I think we are going to head out. They have this beautiful Costa Boda piece in here for 80 bucks. And um, comes with its original box. It's not a design that I'm familiar with, and eighty dollars does seem like a lot. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to look up comps on it. All right. Well, I picked the wrong day. <laughs> um, I actually ran into a viewer there, and he said I picked the wrong day. To 
to go shopping there because they've been short staffed and so they haven't had a whole lot of new inventory making its way onto the shelves. Um, which I'm actually seeing at quite a few of the Goodwills that I frequent. Um, so I guess that's just how it is right now. They're, everybody's short staffed. So I did find a few things that I'm happy with. A couple art pottery pieces. I left the Costa Boda behind because I just wasn't sure at $80. And I was trying to think to myself, would I pay $80 in an antique mall? Probably not. So I, was, I wasn't like, oh, let's do it. And um, I don't know where they got that price at. That made me a little nervous too. So I'm going to get out of here now and head on down the road. And we are going to go to Hamburg Antiques. And I will see you there. And this is the cute little town of Hamburg, Pennsylvania. And here we are. Hamburg Antique Center. Well, this is a family-run business and they restock every single day. So it's absolutely worth coming out here and checking out the new inventory. I see a stretch glass vase there in the back. That's a really interesting shape. I can't see the sticker one-handed though. There we go. $65 on that. Oh, I love that shape. That's not what I've seen before. This is a sweet little kitty. Looks like maybe Joseph's original. Let's look at the bottom. Oh, it's left in. All the little petals are intact. And only $4.00. Graduating kitty cat. Alright, let's go put this up front. This is a really neat soap dish. I like the finish on that. Mm. This is adorable with a little squirrel there. Japan. I love this squirrel. This isn't something that I typically gravitate towards, but I love the busy floral pattern on these. Um, they are Crown Dorset, Staffordshire, England, and $48 for the tea set. Um, I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day with the roses and the color scheme, so uh, I think we'll uh, take that with us as well. These cases were so amazing the last time I was here. The glass that they have in here and the quality of it is just outstanding. Uh, if you watched the last video, I was totally geeking out. And now I feel like I've absorbed it enough from my last experience that I can actually like look at it and <laughs> not geek out. But uh, there's that picture that I looked at the last time, that really busy Millefiori picture. All the little Fenton figurines in here. Um, I really like that little duck, and I don't know if I looked at that the last time I was in here. I know I looked at this, um, Opal Mist Bear. This one has a satin finish, and all the ones that I've sold recently have a, um, like a glossy finish. So I like the fact that this is satin, but his tag is turned. Oh, it looks like 30, 38? $38 on that, so we might pick that up. We've done very well with that um, color scheme of glass. Check out that. That mug has a pearl on it, and it's shaped like an oyster. It says oyster mug. That's really neat and not something that I've seen before. That looks interesting. Um, what is it marked on the bottom? MMA. Okay, so this is a Metropolitan Museum of Art replica of a Clarice Cliff design. Let's continue this way. There's so much to take in. This little egg cup. <laughs> Look at the eyelashes on that chick. I don't think I've ever seen any little chickens with eyelashes. Kind of freaky in real life. <laughs> Oh goodness. Wow, look at that. That's not a pattern I have ever seen before with a horse on it. It has the Grecian key or the Great key, I've heard it both ways, and a horse in the center, but that's not a carnival pattern I have ever seen before. I may actually have to look that one up. 
Okay, so even though this is a really neat pattern um, and one I've never seen before, I did look up comps and it retails for around 50 to 70 bucks. So I think uh, for 68, we will leave that behind. That's a beautiful vase. There's no markings on it, but the contrast of the orange and the black. And uh, it looks to have some age to it because there is crazy. It's only $28. That's beautiful. I think we'll uh, take that with us. All right, I'm trying. I'm slowly making my way back to uh, the Fenton to see if there's any new treasures back there. I spy Murano and lots of it. All right, I'm gonna set this face down real quick. Check out these birds. This one specifically, $45. Look at the blue with that silver on it. Wow. Oh, I love that color combination. Um, the other birds are nice. I think the last time we had one of these, it sold for about $95. $75 on that. So, if it holds true to the last time we sold it, there's not a whole lot of um, profit to be made there. There is some, not a lot. Those are really nice birds, though. I'm gonna take this birdie and my vase up front and then we'll continue shopping. So here is the Fenton section. And uh, we are going to check this out. They've got this really neat apron. Oh, I love the silver crust. All right, let's see what else we have. The sweet little deer, I think he was here last time. Here is a Spruce green basket, 65 on that. Um, it does say 95th, I think it's the 95th anniversary. I knew the spruce green was a relatively newer color. Um, it looks like it's 95th anniversary. Oh goodness. I think I'm, I'm gonna try to go for some of the Fenton we found in that case, to be honest. Although this is a nice stretch glass dollars pink stretch glass i love the pink and again valentine's day is coming i don't find very many valentine's day items but the colors um you pinks reds um, i think this will be good here's a great ginger jar i love the greens i don't know if that would be famille verde you can see on the bottom it is um Japanese porcelain were decorated in Hong Kong, and uh, I love the color of that. And it has the lid. <laughs> Don't often find them with the lids. Opal nest. Tigers. Oh, here's another little squirrel. <laughs> so sweet. This turtle is just so cool, and here's the lid. Um, I don't think I've ever seen this one before. He's definitely got some age to him. Yeah, I think I'll take him. Here's all the beautiful redware. I showed some of this the last time, and I figured I would show you again. Um, they have a few pieces um, from that left-handed, left-handed Russell Henry. We had recently purchased a mug. I told you I, I paid $150. I got the mug and the dish. So really it wasn't $150, but this is that same artist, um, Russell Henry. I had looked at this for Andrew the last time I was here, but you should have seen his reaction when he found out how much I paid for the last mug. I probably <laughs> won't grab that for him. Little shoe here. It's an interesting glaze. This is a floral frog, shaped like an actual flower. Twelve dollars on this satin Fenton vase. That's a decent price for that. We actually have one of these listed right now. Otherwise, I might consider picking it up. 
<laughs> spaghetti and meatballs. Pottery spaghetti, three bucks. <laughs> this looks interesting. Left-handed Russell Henry, there you go. Just talking about him. Little creamer, ten dollars as is. Oh, the handle. That's why. Pottery, Niagara Falls, Canada. That's a beautiful piece of carnival glass. $48. Look at the iridescence on that. Goodness gracious, what is the base color even? <laughs> Amethyst. That is so heavy. And look at how even it is. It's got the Green fades into the purple, fades into the gold. That is a beautiful piece of carnival glass. I don't think that's a very common pattern. I've seen it before, but not very often. There's some patterns that I see over and over again. Um, but this is not one of those. Um, it is $48. We might consider this one. I like the amethyst base color on this. The marigold, I usually don't pick up too often. But uh, amethyst, amethyst I like. Patterns I see a lot would be the grape pattern. <laughs> this paperweight snail is only six dollars. I don't see any markings on it. It's got this weird thing on it. I don't know what that's for. A little knob. <laughs> I don't know if it's so it can sit like this. Hmm, I'm not really sure, but it's only six dollars for a snail. This is a pretty little dish here, Royal Bay Ruth. That's what I, can, well, that's what I thought it was going to be. Um, it actually has a chip there, which is unfortunate. But they have marked as is fourteen dollars. I love that they mark things as is here. Because otherwise you're like, oh, this is beautiful, and you totally miss the boo-boos. Here is what looks like an Empoli bottle. Ten dollars. Smoky glass. Oh, I like that. Ten dollars. Let's look at the bottom. Oh, there is markings on the bottom. What does it say? Something, something. <laughs> anyway. I like the lines of that bottle. This little wooden uh, box, I guess you could call it, uh, has a really nice orange coloring to it. It's ten dollars. Wooden tube box. Hmm. I'm not sure what the purpose of this would be. I've seen very narrow ones like this that hold um, sewing pieces, but I don't think that that's what this is. I'm not really sure what its purpose is. I love the color, and it's only ten dollars. This vase as well. I, I feel like we looked at this the last time. Nice busy floral pattern again. Um, those seem to be popular, especially around springtime. There's a nice looking vase. Hand painted enamel, thirty-five dollars. Has fish on it. He's one fish. I don't see any damage on it. It's an interesting shape. 35. Double fish face. The enamel work makes me think it could be Moser. It's very heavy. Hmm. You know what? That's an interesting piece, so I think I'll take that with me. Not one I've seen before. The shape or the design. Oh, look. Oh wow, there is a, um, well it's in Poli, um, I think it's a Moretti, they've got 125 on it, our last one sold for upwards of $200, so I'm definitely tempted with that, but we had a satin glass, I'm like, trying not to, beating against this table, my coat is knocking against that stuff, um, let me pull that out. There we go. 
a nice apothecary jar. It is one twenty-five, so it would be paying up for it. But after our other ones sold so well, um, I am tempted. And uh, she is giving me a little bit of a discount at the checkout, so I might do that. I mean, it's a little bit of a risk, but I think we'll take it. Nice fused plate for $8. That is a pretty design. It might be worth picking up. I usually do $20 to $25 on average on these fused glass plates. Um, but it's nice. It's always nice to see Sid and Stricker or Peggy Carr. I don't see any signatures on this. I know Peggy Carr's signature is really hard to find. At least I always have a hard time finding it, but $8. We'll take that with us as well. Check out this weirdo. Red glass with brass elephant stand. Look at the elephants. And it just sits on there. Hmm. Never seen that before. I wonder if the brass is made in India. It's not marked. It's $15. Hmm. All right, I'll do it for 15. It's not something I've seen before. Here is another chintz piece for $10. This is Royal Linton. Oh, it's England. Um, we'll take that. I like to see England on chintz more than Japan. I'm, I'm not sure if that's a personal preference, but I find personally that the English uh, chintz sells better than the Japanese. Here we go. Now I can balance it all. Let's see. Oh, like a pro. I had seen on their Facebook uh, page the other day that they had brought in all of this train stuff. And I thought, you know what? Andrew would probably get a kick out of that. Of course, he's not with me today. But they have a ton of train stuff here in the window. More chintz here. I'm just cleaning them out of the chintz, and this is Royal Winton as well. Summertime. The other one was Old Cottage Rose. Oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> Look at that bird. That's so wacky looking. $14 for the crazy bird. I know I'm a little tempted. You guys can usually count on me for the weird stuff, and that is different. I decided to come back to the Fenton another time and noticed this little bear back here. $25. can't recall if we looked at this bear the last time we were here, but it's kind of a, a opal, op, opalescent. Um, it's got a nice painting on it. It's marked Fenton, and it has the original sticker for $25. I think you can come with us. Well, my total spend there at Hamburg Antique Center was three hundred and I'm sorry, six hundred and seventy-four dollars. Uh, we bought twenty-three items, and our cost average was about twenty-nine dollars per item. I feel like that's pretty great considering the stuff that we got. I'm very excited for all of those little Fenton critters that we picked up, and also that Empoli. It's a beautiful um, spruce green. I guess that's the color of the day. That's kind of what color it was. Um, but instead of being satin like our last piece, this one obviously had some gloss to it. So very thrilled to find another one of those. Um, even if I had to pay up a little bit more than I did in the past. After seeing what the last one sold for, totally worth it. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here now. There is a Goodwill down the road. We're going to go check that out. But you guys are going to have to wait for that video. Um, and you should see it. Maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna get out of here and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.